Hi, and welcome to another hopefully inspiring video. So there are basically four ways on how to get inspired. First one would be listening to music. Number two, heading out for a walk and hope that inspiration will kick in. Third one, you could get inspiration from pictures, video games, by reading a book or other media. Number four could be to check out orchestral score sheets from the old masters or famous film composers. Although this could be a little bit difficult because you have to fully understand on how to read sheet music. And then again, this thing is on paper. It is not something inside your digital audio workstation that you can work and interact with. Okay, so hold on for a second because I can already hear all of these people arguing. No to per perfectly understand the orchestra, you have to study music theory and you have to understand on how to read orchestral sheet music. There is no other way. So let me be clear about something. If you are about to play acoustic guitar, for example, sometimes a simple C major chord or a minor pentatonic will absolutely do. There is absolutely no need to learn music theory right away, how to side read or as your first track learn how to play Mediterranean sun dance. So when it comes to orchestral music, it is absolutely your choice on how to start. So to get back to the main topic of this video, what to do when inspiration doesn't show up. Don't worry, I have something for you, it's free. So let's check it out. So what I want to show you are inspirational boxes. So what are these? They are a collection basically of orchestral MIDI arrangements. And the great thing about this is you will be instantly inspired and motivated to write music. If you want to learn how to arrange for orchestra, this is an excellent opportunity to get into this. And the best thing is you can use those arrangements in your personal, but also in your commercial work. So let's check it out. So what I'm going to import right now is from a freebie package that you can get from my store. You will find a download link in the video description and my robot assistant will take care of your freebie download. So what I'm going to do first is zoom in a little bit here and you can see all kind of instrument tracks. All you have to do is uh, import these into your existing template or start assigning these tracks to your virtual instruments that you own. So what I'm going to do now is create instrument tracks. I know it's not the most comfortable way. Uh, I will just load Berlin Woodwinds here, the flute legato. I'm sorry for that little uh, audio thing that happened right now and i will just assign this flute to this instrument here let me just copy down the name i will do that right now for all of the other instruments here and i will be back in a second okay so i'm done with the rewiring let me quickly sum up what i did i loaded berlin woodwinds for the woodwinds for the brass i've used cinematic studio brass and also for the bass trombone here i loaded forzo i used Vista for the legato strings, for the harp, Project Zem, orchestral harp, and also for the percussions I loaded, uh, I used Pandora. Next thing I did is some small slight adjustment for the brass instrument. Cinematic Studio Brass can be a little bit uh, sensitive when it comes to the dynamics, so I just trimmed them down a little bit because the brass was a little bit too loud. It varies from library to library. The only thing that I did afterwards is, uh, you know, routing them all to buses to just have a little bit of general volume control. I have a limiter set up to protect from clipping and I have used a single instance of 7th Heaven Reverb uh, Sanders Hall, something like 30%. So let's listen to this and how it sounds. Okay, so I think it sounds pretty decent considering that we only did some rough adjustments. So if you're interested to grab a few of these arrangements, make sure to check out the link in the video description and my robot assistant will take care of your download. Okay, so I hope I was able to inspire you a little bit with this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel in case if you haven't already and hopefully see you on another video of mine. Thank you so much for watching.